Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome to the start of a brand new campaign series here today on the channel. We're back on Medieval Kingdoms Total War 1212 AD. We're going to be starting a series as Lithuania. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. We're going to be live streaming this campaign every single evening. Australian Eastern Standard Time, live on my Twitch channel. channel. So, go over, give me a follow and a sub if you haven't already. And if you want to see episodes early, you can check them out on the Twitch. The videos are obviously hosted there as well. Alrighty, it's been, what, two years since I've played this mod? So, I'm curious to see how this campaign is going to go. We're going to be playing as one of the harder factions here, uh, Lithuania. We want to try and build the Grand Duchy, and uh, let's see how we do. Alrighty, so we currently start off in Vilnius. Diplomacy-wise, we have a military alliance with the... I don't even know how to say that. Isn't it like these are like the Varingians or whatever they're called? Okay, so we border here with the Grand Kaznet of Chernigov. It's like Chernihiv, I guess. Uh, we've got Kiev down here as well, which are Orthodox. We are currently Baltic Pagan, which we might look to change. Maybe go Orthodoxy or potentially Catholic. Or we could say st um, stay Baltic Paganism. I haven't decided just yet. We've also got the Teutonic Order in the north, which we have to watch out for. And we are currently uh, trading with these guys to the south. So, tech-wise, I don't really know what to go with. Campaign movement's probably not a bad idea. We're not going to have the money to invest in a lot of this. I'm trying to think what I used to rush back in the day. Oh, God. Because there's been so many updates to this series and mod. So, I'm going to relearn how to play this game along with you guys 20 turns that's quite a while so tier 3 tradable stuff unless there's some sort of sanitation here no maybe we do just get the campaign movement then and then the two percent replenishment okay objectives wise minor victory sur survive until 1260 Decisions. Oh, nice. So these are sort of like small objectives we can go for. Found a kingdom, which is control four regions, become the kingdom of Lithuania, become the Lithuanian Empire. Nice. How's it going, Simp? I'm doing all right. This guy, how are you? Starting a brand new series here today. Playing as Lithuania. So we've got King Ring here. King Rad Udis. Uh... So we got Min and Du, so two children, right? So Baltic Pagan, 90%. I don't know what bonuses we get. Catholic Christianity. So looking at our traits, Lithuanian Pragmatism, minus 25% public order due to... Oh, okay, so we actually get like a buff to reduce that. Okay, that's what that is. Yeah, minus 25 public order penalty due to presence of other religions unification plus one for tribe loyalty minus seven morale but plus fatigue hostile baltic terrain but we do get a minus 25 percent unurbanized communities unfortunately okay and then we get a recruitment cap food surplus war weariness interesting and we've got some other leaders here as well. Alright, so here is Lithuania. So technically there's no regions anymore. So these are all individual. So we need to figure out where we want to go. If we go against the Grand Kaznet of Chernigov or Chernihiv, they are the vassal of the Grand Kaznet of Kiev. Hmm. So that would complicate things. Unfortunately, these guys are our allies, so I would kind of like to go against them. And then, of course, we've got the Teutonic Order to the north, which has a pretty 
decent unit roster. Also as well, looks like the uh, settlements have been reworked as well. Like some of the settlement design looks really, really cool. So what have we got here? A pagan shrine, a cattle herd, and a fort. What's our recruitment? We currently have four units of light spear militia, two units of Lithuanian light axemen. We've got some light skirmishers. We do have some noble heavy cavalry. And what do you have in your general's bodyguard? I can't even see. And then there's some skirmishers. We fight for you, my so if we were to recruit more units, we'd just get early Lithuanian axemen, some Ruthenian archers, and whatnot. Okay, well, you know what? I th what I think I'll do is I think I'll actually convert to Catholic Christianity. Obviously, we eventually do that historically. It will keep the Teutonic Order off our back because as we grow, the Catholic realm is going to be our major adversary. We might even get bonuses going against Orthodoxy. We could maybe like switch back <laughs> if um, we want to to Baltic paganism potentially but being Baltic pagan it's probably going to give us a lot of bad relations with various factions around us I think we either have to side with the orthodoxy or the pagans and I think I would probably I would nearly think to maybe go Orthodox, but I'm going to go Catholic Christianity now. And does that give us a different chain to recruit from? It does. So then we can get a Catholic chapel. So does that change our relations with the Teutonic Order? It does. Religion affinity plus 10. So does that mean we can get some relations? Nice. That's signed a non aggression pact. Are they interested in trade? They are. Okay. Um. Because then we can probably focus on these guys. Because you never know, these guys could betray us, our Baltic pagan allies, maybe even the Orthodox factions to the south. Okay, so maybe getting good relations with the Teutonic Order might be a good idea. Defensive alliance? No. Military access? I could offer them that. And we'll try and demand a payment. To increase our wealth. Nice, that's gone through. I would nearly look to cancel this trade agreement, to be fair. Because these guys we could look to attack. So what do we have? Military alliance, trade. Because unfortunately we can't go north. We really only can go south. Yeah. Yeah. We've just got to be careful extending. I think we betray these guys. So who's down here? Pomerania. Krakow. We've got Poland. And a fair few others. Because I think going after and taking Kiev and then Chernihiv is probably like the play, I think. So I'm going to break this military alliance. Actually, maybe I leave it. Ready for battle. And we'll slowly but surely build up. I think getting some Ruthenian archers is probably not a bad idea. Unfortunately, they take quite a lot to recruit. We're going to get a Catholic chapel here. Now, has that changed our... It has. Oh, nice. Because these were... We can, get ca we can get a Catholic monastery here. Okay. Skills roam. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to today's stream. And uh, we can't negotiate with anyone else, so let's end the turn and continue. Oh, we can install a governor. So let's bring you in. And do we go with recruitment capacity plus three? Or do we go with tax? Wealth from commerce and growth. We do want to go on a recruitment blitz if we can. But is it because we're just out of money? I think it is, more or less. 
So maybe we go with something else. That tax is going to give us really bad public order. So we'll go with the growth and commerce, I think. Alright, let's uh, end the turn and continue. But we're going to be streaming for a, an hour or so here today. Then we're going to be streaming on YouTube a little bit later. Starting another series as well. Oh, here we go. So the Grand Kaznet of Kiev has attacked our allies here. Uh, I'm going to decline and break the alliance. And we're probably going to join in on this war. We'll just have to see how we go. Well, that saved us from actually doing anything. Settled tribes. So now they're at war. That's been broken. What does that put us? Unreliable. We're strength ranking 56. Can I get some better relations with the Teutonic Order? Your people's reputation goes before you. No. Oh, wow. Why have we found... Sicily, the Papal States, and Bologna. Is that because we've got... We can do stuff now? In regards to the Vatican, maybe? Skill. Is it skills? I always read it as kills. <laughs> I guess we'll say skills. I'm good. I call him skills. Well, I can call you skills if you want. <laughs> okay. Ready for battle. Yeah, well, I guess we cancel everything with them. I am sure you have many pleasantries for me, but please... Do you want to end this? Ending this treaty after signing is an act of treachery. Really? Is that because we started off... With that treaty. Nah, no, we've already spent one turn on those archers. I should have moved to the border. Okay. We'll tank the recruitment, which is annoying. Whoa. Those lost a lot. Okay, so let's go with some axemen, I guess. Okay, are there any agents we can get? No, but we can get an additional army. Which is probably not a bad idea once we go over the border. And I think we'll maybe... So... We might join that war. We kind of want that settlement. We don't want Kiev to take it. And we'll recruit slightly. Um, we've got a fair amount of money. There's nothing really else we can do. We can't give any of these guys offices. Oh, we can. Um, can't adopt any of these guys just yet. No. Okay. Let's continue on. I'm kind of hoping as we push for guard in us, um, maybe they'll move their army south. I don't know. Just have to be a little bit cautious here. <clears throat> I'm curious to see how this campaign will go, go to be fair. Uh, political obstruction. Uh, let's use his political favours. Oh, Pomerania attacked them as well. And the Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> Thank God we broke our relations with them. Everyone's really ganging up on them. So our relations are improving with the Holy Roman Empire, which is good. Uh, the Teutonic Order, which is good. Okay. So what's in here? Okay, a decent amount of units. And then... 15. I can siege it out. I just don't know if we win. Or do we try and wait for them to move? I could move down here. Maybe try and bait them into an attack. Uh, 
The problem is I don't have any line of sight. I don't want anyone else just to run in there. Because we want to... I want to fight them on the open field if I can. Because I reckon I can beat this. In a siege, I don't think so. So I think what I'll do is I'll negotiate. So who are they at war with? Pomerania. Damn. I would nearly... Um, Negotiate with Pomerania. Great, great. We've got a George Washington in chat. <laughs> Join there. <clears throat> War to get better relations. Uh, I guess I'll negotiate with Kiev. For my people's part. And say, hey, I'll join your war. Uh, will you give me a payment at least? And give me your wisdom. Hey, what happened? I paid to unlock it. What? Oh, it was like Twitch points or whatever. I don't understand. We'll join this. Oh, wait. They s maybe we just need to straight up join then. Rejected. Okay. Maybe we need to pay them. In the name of the state. Oh, did you, or did you pay for a random emote? As a friend or as an enemy, but do so with honesty. It won't take my points. I don't know. Okay, well, maybe we just have to straight up declare war upon them then. It's annoying. My time is better spent feasting and hunting than listening. So, we'll do that. Be quick with your chattering. And we'll take the act of treachery. Ready for battle. We'll move in range and we'll see how they react. Ready. We could go into an ambush stance. <clears throat> or should we straight up raid? Or do we go with a fortify? Okay, I'll sub to you when I'm not broke. All right. I don't understand what's happening. I'll have to look into it. I think some of them are free emotes. And then some of them are paid. I don't know. Highlight message for points. Yeah, there's like a whole point syst system. I'm still working it out. It won't take my points. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't completely un understand the issue you're having. <laughs> I think some are free emotes. I think there's some, there's some emotes that are free and some of them are paid, but they're the same. Because... I think, I think you get normal emotes and then there's... If you sub, you get the, still get the same emotes. Okay, uh, which general do I want here? So some of them are paid if we have to bring him in. Costs 400. Unit experience, entrepreneur. Task master, zeal. Maybe we go with you then. Move you into Vilnius to help with public order. And these will be the ones that can recruit... So we'll switch to recruitment capacity. Ready for orders. And we'll get these going. We have the money. All of them are locked. Haven't figured it out yet. No big deal. I'll look into it. Okay. So nothing really else we can do here. We can trade regions, of course. I don't particularly want to sign a non-aggression pact with them. Okay, we'll see how we go. All right, let's uh, end the turn and continue. I'll be making my own emotes. Look at my raid and lurk. I'm embarrassing and proud of them. Nice. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, they moved. Nice. Okay. Oh, the Teutonic Order attacked them. Oh, thank God we broke. Wait, hang on. Poland's at war with Kiev. Nice. I think they moved north because of the Teutonic Order. I think we're lucky we went into that position because now, look at this. <laughs> we're going to be able to hit this army. Wait, what? Oh, I was like, why can't we move? We can. Uh, which one were the military order building? Yeah, look at this. We can unlock Hospitaller Knights, Templar Knights, Ritter, Bruder Knights, and whatever. So this will get us, like, a decent amount of cavalry. We can get a wine resource. Yeah, like, you get so many bonuses. I'm sure the Baltic Paganism religion tree probably has a decent amount of buffs as well, but I think converting to Catholicism is definitely the play. Okay, so this is now coming along nicely. Do we try and save up for that building? It does cost a bit. 9,000 is a lot. Okay, so should I negotiate with the Papal See? Or maybe some of these factions down here? Like, why can we see this? I, have we got an agent down here or something? Or is there an event going on? Maybe we can just see the Pope. I don't. I don't know exactly. I wonder if it will make us <clears throat> go on crusade potentially. All right. Let's. Uh, whoops. Let's chuck a save here though. And I hope that that army has gone really far north and is not just here in this fog of war. So, we're going to hit this army on the outside, and that should draw out the garrison. Which is still pretty good, but it's not insane. Still two, two generals we have to deal with. They've got, a, they've got the same unit roster as us, but they have two units of spears, two militia, and then two lots of Ruthenian archers. We outnumber them two to one. Nice. Let's uh, fight this one on the battlefield, but it's still a 50-50. We're not favoured to win this one. But you just have to be a little bit careful in uh, 1212 AD if you are playing as a one settlement faction. This is still a harder campaign rather than an easy or a normal. So it's uh, going to be interesting. I feel like if you get ganged up on as Lithuania you can fail a campaign easy. I think what we've done is the play. Convert to Catholic to get them off your back. And, um... Yeah, because if you target... If you throw everything against the Teutonic Order, you're probably going to lose. If you throw everything against... And then you're going to get... Like, if you throw everything against the Teutonic Order, the Orthodoxy in Kiev is probably going to attack you. And then if you go the other way, um, you're going to have an issue. If you stay allied with these guys, you're just going to get drawn into so many wars. And we'll move here. But, like I said, still not out of the woods. Just, oh, God. Why did it do that? Yeah, still not out of the woods just yet in this campaign. But, man, it's actually been a long time since I've actually played Attila. I think my last campaign was last year. On the... Justinian mod. Alright, let's move up. But yeah, I think it's been, what, two years since I've played 1212 AD. Played a lot in uh, early access from, what, 2018 to 2019. There's still a fair few factions I haven't played as, such as Lithuania, Sweden, and Wales. Here comes Lithuania. Hopefully going to try and Make the Grand Duchy. The units look so cool in this mod. Okay. Let's move up here. But you can catch all of these videos on YouTube, of course. After the stream. Decent amount of skirmishes, which is nice. Okay, we've got a little bit of a... Oval here. Let's speed things up. So we outnumber them just by a thousand, which is really nice. Okay. 
interesting position here. Might even get a decent amount of high ground. Cool looking battle map. We've got some hovels here to the left of screen. And then there's even like another built up area here as well. Okay, so let's go with a rough formation like this. Skirmishes, make sure you're on skirmish mode. You have a heavy shot and extended shot. And we'll flank around our cavalry as well. Let's move the Lithuanian king here. And make sure we're... Saving our fatigue. Alright. So everyone's still pretty eager. Let's speed things up. Like I said, we're in no rush. Just had to unload my feet, I guess. Okay. Now, I don't have line of sight for the... majority of their army, so I want to be a little bit cautious in uh, moving around my cavalry. We're slowly moving into a position. Man, it uh, feels good to be back on Attila. It's been so long. <laughs> I'm just like noticing like the battle map looks so much better than Rome 2. Like just some of the texture details as well. I do think the uh, <clears throat> display in sort of unit cards is better in Rome 2 than this. Because I've just been playing it so much, but... After this stream here today, we're going to be starting a... Uh, DEI... Divide et Impera... Lusitani... Iberian stream, which will be a lot of fun. Okay, what's the range on our skirmishes? Alright. I think we've probably waited long enough here, so let's go to this position and I'm going to give everyone the command to charge and I'm going to start rotating my cavalry around the back. Still very much eager, the flanks are secure, the Lithuanian units are fresh, they seem to be trying to move on this other side. Oh, they actually had a lot of their units hiding down this side. They've probably got the range on me quite easily, to be fair. So maybe we continue to advance. I would like to try and general snipe, but we'll see how we go. I'll keep my cavalry a little bit further back. Okay. Is there any formations? Oh, we actually do. We have a spear wall formation and then a shield wall formation. Okay, let's move my cavalry around here. So what are these? Heavy shock nobles, then the general. Do we try and get around a general snipe or do we try and go for this cavalry unit? The problem is they're holding them well. Alright, let's continue to advance. Alright, you're probably good enough to go for here now. They're starting to pepper us with arrow fire. Make sure you're on skirmish mode. Alright, try and go for... Oh, yeah, move back then. God, they just came at us so quick. Okay. So we're starting to skirmish. Charge them in. Nice. Okay, go for the nobles then if they're going to come out. They're engaging my front line. Okay, I'm going to give out some attack orders.
Focus on those units. Hold your cavalry off to smash them in the rear. We've only got um skirmishes. Not very good cavalry. To do cycle charging. Okay, just gotta watch out for units moving in like that. Nice. So the front line is working well. Not really much they can do. We just outnumber them too much. Oh, that's a good charge there by their cavalry though, to be fair. Get my skirmishes over there. Swing you over here. We don't need to drop a rally. They're fine to give chase. Let's get my axemen going. My cavalry is actually kiting these guys, like, really well. My light units are going to struggle against their cavalry, though. Okay, meanwhile... You'd think the... Spearmen would do better against their archers, but they're actually holding their own. Yeah, let's continue to skirmish against them. Oh, it's their general unit moving in here now. Okay. I'm going to try and swing over here and help. Still focusing on them. Oh, as soon as those skirmishes start engaging in combat, they're not looking good. What's kiting? Um, for example... Um, if a spear unit is perpetually running at all these cavalry units that are skirmishing them, we're kiting the unit around. So, I ca Is it a StarCraft term? I can't remember. I don't know. I think I'm using the term right. I could be using it wrong. I think I no, it is kiting, yeah. It's how you mostly use skirmisher cav. I always do that. Now I have a bane for it on TY. YouTube. Like a ban? What? Their general's bodyguard here is doing really well. So much so that I think I might just move my infantry out and then just try and skirmish into that. Because some of our units are very squishy. Oh, they moved for them. God damn it. Okay. We're doing okay, but... <sighs> These tier one... Lithium... Lithuanian units aren't the best. Okay. Damn it, they just got caught. I was like, okay, I'll be able to quickly disengage the... Infantry and then skirmish, but nope. Because sometimes if your infantry's struggling against a unit, you are better off to just get some skirmishes involved. Okay. Nice. The units are a lot more responsive than DEI, I think. Or maybe it's just the balancing of the game, I don't know. Okay, make sure everyone's got some orders, and we'll try and run down as many of them as we can. So we lost about 700. As long as it's about half of what the enemy deployed. Could have been worse. But also, we've got to take into consideration now that this was only a garrison fight. There's still a full stack roaming, so I would have liked to lose a lot less. But we'll see how we go. Hopefully, I haven't overextended. But Never said this campaign was going to be easy or a cakewalk. 
But yeah, this is the uh, new Twitch campaign for the foreseeable future. I think we'll try and get to the rough borders of what historically the Grand Duchy of Lithuania ultimately becomes. What do you guys reckon? Let me know. Okay, let's uh, end that one there. Decisive victory in the end. Yeah, their general unit got 267. Well, to be fair, there was two general units. Our skirmishers did okay, 5261. Oh, wow, these guys actually did really well. Spearmen, not so much. 173, 215. The load times are pretty good, though, compared to DEI. So we lost the Noble Cavalry, which I think were really depleted for whatever reason. So we can take on the 1% replenishment. I don't think that's worth it. Let's make sure we kill the captives. Oh, I don't think we... Well, have we done enough just to walk in? Nice, we can. We can subjugate. We get 10,000. Loot and occupy. Minus 20. We can sack. I think we'll occupy. 5,000 is pretty good though. Wait, hang on. You're telling me... We get an extra and it's all... Hmm... I guess you loot and occupy? What's another five province instability? I guess you get like a 1% replenishment? Uh, maybe we occupy. I don't think money is particularly an issue at the moment for us. Oh, okay. So it wasn't uh, the Teutonic Order that came up. It was actually Pomerania. Oh, and they actually got a little bit shattered. Then there's the reinforcing army there. Well, they should start rotting away a bit. We're getting good replenishment here now. Alright, let's uh, get some more of these Lithuanian Axemen. I really liked the way how they performed. And we've got a fort. Okay. And Vilnius was a fort anyway. So what is this? A cattle herd. And what do we have here? A sheep herd. Alright, so we can go with a stream, which gives us sanitation, or we can wait for a religious building. We'll probably wait for that. Alright, we've got more military forces on the way, like I said. We could stop that recruitment and maybe get a chapel. Will that allow us to do that? Maybe. No, maybe not. Maybe we save it for next turn. Oh, we are so close though, but we kind of need units. But it might be worth getting that chapel. Okay. So now here, can we negotiate? Oh wait, they're a vassal of Denmark. I didn't even know that. Well, now that we have this territory we found Poland Cilicia and Pomerania so Pomerania really like me so maybe we negotiate with them and try and get trade seriously maybe we need to offer them money no Cilicia no they don't want trade uh, Poland, are you interested in a non-aggression or trade? Oh, it's because we are unreliable. And it's going to take us a little while for that rating to get fixed. Right, okay. I understand. Well, we've got more reinforcements on the way. Oh, nice, you've gone up in stats. So, I guess we allow the king... Oh, they've changed his name to... Uh... Ring Odus the Catholic. <laughs> That's quite funny. Because he converted. Uh, let's go with... I don't really know. Who are you? Integrity. Entrepreneur. Nice. Okay. If you're going to be a governor, let's just sit you in there. And I think we'll go with... Yeah, I don't know. Wealth and commerce, maybe? What do we have up here? Recruitment capacity. 
Maybe let's go with wealth and commerce as well. I've yet to play Attila. I personally uh, prefer the mods in this game more than the default campaign. But if you want a sort of a survival series, if you want to play as the Western or Eastern Roman Empire, it's kind of like the um, Rome Total War Barbarian DLC. But you can... Uh, it's essentially, if you play as the West or Eastern Roman series, you are playing a survival campaign. But if you're playing as, like, the Goths or the Franks, you are building. Alright, so they've declared war now. We have been attacked. Unfriendly papal relations. The adverse relations between you and your faction has lowered ourselves within the eyes of the Pope. Uh-oh. Spread religion in Vilnius. So what's happening here? We fight for you, my lord. We crushed the garrison. Oh, to be fair, Grand Duke's bodyguard. Oh no. Puppy is mad. Uh, Loki is one of my favorite of all time. Of Wait, what? Attila is Loki, one of my favorite of all time Total War games. Yeah, it's pretty good. I actually enjoy it. I think the Justinian mod's really good if you want to play as the Eastern Roman Empire. Um,. The Age of Charlemagne DLC, I am forgetting. It's like one of the best DLCs I think they put out. It's really, really, really good. I tend to prefer the mods though. And I'm not even talking about 12-12 AD. You, I'd nearly just get the mod for... I would nearly get Attila for this mod. On Steam. Like straight up. I think you probably would get more enjoyment. Playing the mods. There's even like battle mods as well, of course. Okay. Uh, I suppose we send down reinforcements. I kind of want them to attack me. No, oh, we do actually have that. Alright. How far are you away? Not too far. Okay, let's get some reinforcements. <laughs> so queuing that up didn't even matter anyway. Yeah, well we're in no rush. Um, the longer we wait, more reinforcements can be ferried on down. Pappy. Oh, the Pope is mad at me. Yeah, I don't know why. Is that what you meant by Pappy? Right. <laughs> the Pappy Pope, <laughs> right. Just started Napoleon. I think that's going to end up being my favorite. Napoleon's uh, good. The base campaign's pretty good. I did a, a Darth mod series last year. Playing as Napoleon and his generals. That was a lot of fun. There's a lot of pretty good... Like the Peninsula campaign's really fun. <gasps> no... They've attacked that army as if that was in range. Retreat, Hang on. Man, they probably won't be able to... <laughs> they just baited this guy down here. Um, I guess this kind of works. Yeah, no, if you um, want a more well-polished empire, uh, Napoleon's pretty good. Uh, my number one total war game is Rome 2, but the game is unplayable for me now. Is that because you just played it too much, a little bit burnt out, or...? For some reason, it won't let me move my mouse at all unless it's on the keyboard. Don't know why. I've checked the settings and everything. Oh, I don't know about that little sure shot. Be sure it's not a mouse issue. I do know that um, Empire can have music issues. I know that can be like a straight up fact. We'll uh, finish off this army. Well, the longer we allow these guys to not have a settlement, the better it is because they're just rotting away. It's not a macro thing. What type of mouse do you have? If it's a Logitech mouse, that could be an issue. Every other game works, it's just that game. Maybe reset your key binds or something. A decisive victory there. Defamation. An unscrupulous rival has spread foul rumors about a member of your family. Oh no. 
Let's pay him off. Yeah, these guys are really bad. Why did they go for that? That's actually hilarious. Okay, can we adopt anyone in? Because I'm kind of tempted to do it. So, who are you? No, who are you? This guy. 39. Four-star governor. Alright, let's... Uh, adopt you. Let's grow these guys up as well. Still a while before they become of age. Okay, let's try and repair this. And I suppose we try and surround these guys. So let's move you up. Let's move you here. For sure I'll check that, yeah. Sounds like a um, keybind issue. Okay. If I'm guessing. What are the odds on this one? Do we need to play this one? We outnumber them 3 to 1. I don't think so. Oh, maybe. I'll fight it. Because... Oh, well, look, no, no, I'm not. Because I don't need to... Up look. It's 80% in our favor. We're fine. I need to get better at auto-resolving stuff. Play it, play it, play it. No. We didn't need to. We were going to win. Okay, let's uh, take on the replenishment. Nice. And now they've been destroyed. We'll move you back to the border. And we'll move in these archers as well. I know, everyone wants me to play every single battle. <laughs> or otherwise series just take too long. I'm not a fan of these spearmen at all. So I'm going to try and move them out. I know they're light spearmen, but for what they cost, I'm going to get rid of them. What's one of the historical eras you would want the most for a Total War game? I don't know. I would like to get a World War II or one game. I don't know how it would work, though. Like, integrating it into Total War, but that's what I would like to see. I know they're never going to touch it, but I would love an American Civil War campaign. I think that would be fun as well. At your um, and then fantasy-wise, probably Lord of the Rings or A Song of Ice and Fire. So what? what's the tree to go down here? I can't even remember this skill tree. So you want to go with... The left-hand side has, like, the bonuses... All right, so the gov right, so I've gone down the wrong one here already. Cunning's not too bad though. I think there. What do you guys want to see? Total war wise, replenishment. Let's go with this. All right, let's move there. Nice. I think we're doing okay. We're still going to have issues with the paganism stuff converting. Okay, uh, let's uh, end the turn and continue. Uh, I want World War One. Oh, nice, okay. The Great War mod for Napoleon is pretty good. Yeah, I know. Played it a fair bit. No tanks or aircraft, that's for sure. Just infantry. <laughs> yeah, right. We must follow oh, no, they ended my non aggression pact with them? Get out of here. A World War One or two would end up. Yeah, I read that. It would look very different. But I think they could do it. Yeah, they could do it. I yeah, I just don't know how you would integrate the battles. Yeah. Because even with the Great War mod, it does have some limitations. I think it'd be hard. I just want Empire 2. Yeah, so do I. Or Victorian Total War. I don't care about anything else for enough. I have theories. Political obstruction. Uh, I guess we'll decree the adoption. Okay, the Fifth Crusade has been 
launched. Does that mean we can join that? Or is it because we're in a different league now? Yeah, so the Pope doesn't like us. <laughs> I wonder if the Pope will ever like us because... I wonder... Because I can... Because I'm not a default Catholic faction. And I've converted. Have, do I not have the Pope... Like, script tree here. Alright, let's uh, make sure you seek a spouse. And then we'll probably look to adopt someone else as well again. Get our family tree growing. Okay, I'm going to move you back to Vilnius. And what tech do I need to get spies? Where's that? Oh, it's a tavern. We actually have to build something. Right, okay. Alright, let's move you back down here. Once we move armies in, we're not having public order issues. So I might even try and phase out some of these weaker units. So let's get rid of the skirmishes and let's get some archers in. <clears throat> uh, and then I think we're good that way. Up here, let's try and get some additional archers as well. Do they want that non-aggression packed back? No. Why don't they like me? They do like me. And we're getting improved relations. It's because of the treacherous act we've done. Uh, can I even negotiate with the Pope? No. So hang on. Can I go on crusade? Force details. Maybe not. They would uh, include some things from Napoleon, but like have it even bigger. Yeah, Bolivia campaign, Zulu, Boxer Rebellion, expanded subcontinent. That's why I would kind of like to see a Victorian total war. You could have the uh, Chinese Opium Wars. You could even have Australia stuff in it. Uh, you could have Anglo Zulu. You could have heaps of stuff. Maybe like a South American one, like Medieval 2, but the size of the map. I don't know. Would they do an Aztec total war? I don't know if they would. Conquistadors and stuff? I don't know. I feel like... I do feel like there's some time periods that would be controversial that they wouldn't probably touch, like the Civil War and maybe that. Right, let's take her hand in marriage. But I could be wrong. Like, we're probably not going to get a Christopher... Uh, what's his name? A Christopher Columbus Total War. I just don't think that's happening. Okay. Still unreliable. Well, we do have to probably have a look where we want to go. Um... Let's have a look at religion. I just want Bolivia, right. It was so sad that they cut off most of South America. Some awesome things happened there during and after the Napoleon era. Yeah. Well, once you've got like a Victorian era sized map, you can do heaps of mods for it. You could probably do a better like Darth mod version. Okay, I think we need to start making plans to look to go somewhere else. So, how do we do this? So, the Grand Cabinet of Chernigov, Chernihiv, Kiev, Kiev. Um, oh, right, Poland's at war with them. So, if I say I want to join your war, Leszek, they're not going to accept because of our relations. Okay. How many? It's going to take a fair few turns to get there. I'm trying to think, should we go after Kiev or should we go after Chernigov? Because we probably want to try and push this way. An African one trying to stop the Europeans carving up the continent. Yeah, maybe. You could probably do that in the Victorian era one or an empire two. Okay. 
try. So how's our religion conversion here? Okay, so Catholic Christianity is now growing, which is nice. Release buffer state, okay. Right, we'll wait for that to go through, and we've still got this going as well. Yeah, I need to make a decision. Do I go after Kiev, or do I go after their vassal? Ready for orders. I don't know exactly. I'm going to have to have a think. You can't adopt anyone. You're currently the heir. Let's have the turn and continue. World War One or two would have to be focused on large fronts for the campaign map. Battles would be... Like a sectors on a long line. All right. Yeah, I think like you could probably do. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be hard with the trench warfare stuff. I don't know. You might be able to do it though. Like the Great War mod is well, great. <laughs> I would recommend it. But um, it is it is a little bit weird having guys operating with M1 Grands in formations, <laughs> like like a line formation. Uh, let's intervene. And we just need you to get your authority out. Chernigov would help you secure your flank, but Kiev probably has more money. I'd go for Kiev. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to think about, like, which one's better to go after. To be fair, they could be fighting here against Poland quite a bit. I would love to see what's going on. I just can't. I'm going to move to the border here. And... I'm going to stop recruiting that, and we'll get this going. And we'll move with you. So if I negotiate with Poland, are they still not interested? Yeah. We're going to be at war with both. That's the issue. Do I trespass and maybe have a look? Because I don't want to be at war with the two factions. That's what I'm thinking. If I can avoid it. Uh, what's happening here? Wealth, yep. Yeah. How do I get public order? Minus 50 maintenance. God. Yeah, that's not going to help. South Africa, I mean, in the last comment. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, but the Portuguese still had, like, coastal African colonies in the Cote of uh, it, like, around Africa, and there's, like, it was fighting around, like, the Gold Coast, that Cote d'Ivoire sort of region. I know, it's still... A that's what I was sort of thinking. <laughs> hmm. Maybe let's end the turn and continue. Man. The diplomatic ramifications for us straight up declaring war upon someone with trade rights has been quite bad. But we're in a really good position here now. We've got two settlements and nearly two stacks. I would like to get better quality relations with the other Catholic factions around me, but we simply might not be able to. Okay, so there's a new Pope. Bologna has been excommunicated. Oh, but the Mongols have declared war upon... Oh, Chernigov. So Krakow hasn't fallen. All right, let's renegotiate with them. Oh, here they come. Oh, no. They're usually, like, around here. Oh, wait, no, it's... it's um. Wait, is that... I can't remember in this. So... Oh, I can't even remember. Is it... It's not the right... Is it Genghis Khan's son? Is it... Jo is Jochi one of his sons? Or is the Golden Horde? Oh, I can't remember. I used to remember in this mod. Who is who? Is Genghis Khan in, in this mod, or is it the point where it's all split up between his sons? I actually can't remember. I think it is. I think it's after Genghis Khan. Uh, 
I could be wrong. Okay, we're going to take attrition here if we stay here for a turn. So let's build up. Minus six. We've still got ages there. Um, maybe we do a thunder run to Kiev. <laughs> maybe we do it. <laughs> I don't know. It would nearly be better off to like get a line of sight on Poland easier, potentially. Famous last words. If I was to declare war upon... Do you know what I could do? If I declare war upon them, what, their vassal's probably going to join in. If I declare war upon the vassal... Um. Hmm. No, hang on. Is Kiev at war with ever? Wait, hang on. How can they declare war upon them, but not? What? How can the Mongols attack Chernigov, their vassal, but not join in? What? Shogun three. Where you can invade Korea and parts of China. There's a mod for Korea, I think. I don't think they're making Shogun 3 anytime soon. Alright. Uh, it's winter. You'd think... Playing as one of the Baltic states, you'd probably get some sort of... Attrition... Less bonus. Okay, let's give it another turn. I feel like we get Medieval 3 before Shogun 3, absolutely. Because of the time difference. But alas, I don't think anyone was expecting Pharaoh. No, I didn't expect Pharaoh, to be honest. I was surprised when I got told. The Holy Bible may be oh, nice. Deep, but when it is we uh, itself that have a cinematic. Then it is every Christian's duty to defend all that is holy. His Holiness the Pope has called a crusade to reclaim the Holy Lands from the infidel. Who would deny Maybe the now we can join the crusade. <laughs> the holy places. It is time for the armies of Christendom to put aside their differences and you It would take us so long to get down there. The sign of the cross and give back God's children what is rightfully theirs or die trying. Nice. Crusade for Cairo. The Pope has formally declared the beginning of a holy war against the Saracens in Egypt, seeking to re-establish Christian rule in the lands long lost. If Cairo can be taken, the rest of Egypt will soon fall and then become... Wait, what? And then can be used as a staging ground for an attack to retake Jerusalem. Sicily and the HRE have made peace. Okay. Whoa, there they Whoa! There's two full stacks. Ah, oh, nice, we can. Send this army on crusade. There are 20 turns left. Note that clicking this button will declare war. I don't even know if we can even make it down there within 20 turns. <laughs> We're trying to establish our area here. I guess we could get excommunicated, but... That's a, that's a, a concern that... Now that we've become Catholic, we have to do the bidding of the Pope. Which we probably wouldn't have had to do before, obviously. Being Baltic pagan. Be most welcome. Your words will find an I do actually... I haven't played this mod in so long. I do actually think you get some bad ramifications if you um, don't go. Force march the whole time. 
I still think even if you do force march, it's, well, maybe not. Uh, actually, maybe you're right. You're going to be trespassing, though. That's the thing. I kind of... Do I want to go on Crusade? Well, you could go through the Baltic Sea, but... You know, you have to get to the Black Sea, I think. Um... Ring the Impaler. Is that his name now? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, now we can convert to Orthodoxy. I might have done that earlier if that was an option. Okay. Well, this complicates things. So I think if we were to attack the Grand Kaznet of Kiev... We probably would lose that. And then there's probably a stack in a bit in Chernigov. So, I don't know. Crusades are cool. But are a logistical light nightmare. Yeah, I... Um, getting down here doesn't really bother me. Or declaring war upon the Iubids as well. I think we probably do it, to be honest. Because our papal standing is this. I just don't know if this is going to be enough. Enough. <laughs> because we probably can't take these. Um, I don't particularly want to betray anyone else here. Maybe we send him on crusade then. And I think the earlier you do it, the better. So... Let's go on Crusade. Your faction has joined the Crusade and will be now at war with the faction holding the Crusade target until replenished. Okay. So we've joined. Now, do we get any bonuses of, like, movement or trespassing? No. Well, we want to try and... Uh, basically, get to the Black Sea as early as possible. Now... We are going to be trespassing through Kiev, so that will give us... A bit of a line of sight. And now we're at war with the Ayubids and the Shari Fate of Mecca. Hopefully other factions uh, join, I suppose. God will provide. Jesus is king, baby. <laughs> no, what is it? Christ is king. <laughs> Isn't that what people say? Okay, so hopefully we get better relations. So does going on crusade actually help? Maybe. Alright. And what's the garrison in Kiev anyway? Still quite a bit. So we do have... an adopted... son here. So we're not going to go into a regency. Nice. Who would have thought the zealous Catholic Lithuanians are going to be uh, the first to join the crusade? Nice. A noble birth. So, mission issued. Loyalty, public order bonus. Nice. Nice. The Kingdom of Jerusalem has joined. Hungary has joined. The HRE in France. Nice. We're building a coalition. Nice chatting with everyone, but I've got to go. Uh, good night slash day. Later little short shot thanks for stopping by and uh participating in today's stream appreciate it night night 
Yeah, Bilgorod. I do think we have a slight bonus, to be fair. Okay, so let's uh, head down here. So, oh yeah, yeah, look at this. One, two, three. Like four turns. We actually might get there a lot quicker. Oh no, Jerusalem's quite close, obviously. But we actually might get there before the HRE or France. That's what I was sort of thinking of, of factions that go on crusade. Okay, uh, can we fortify here? I I just think we see how we go. Um, how big is... I don't know, I, I can't risk another full stack. How big is the garrison? We can't see, obviously. Oh wow, that's some movement, holy. Yeah, Deus Vault, I suppose, <laughs> yeah. Crusading gets you an extra speed boost. We zooming down there. Yeah, I do technically think we could get excommunicated, so it's probably not a bad idea to join. What the hell? I was just on my phone for a second and stuff, just sort of... Playing loud as. You have brought this on yourselves. Oh no! <sighs> the Grand Kaznet of Halic and Volinia have attacked. Shit. That's bad. After the king and a full stack are leaving. Uh, why did they do that? Do they want peace? They are so far away. We didn't even trespass through their lands. Uh, I guess we hold up here then. Okay, so... We're gonna try and make our way down there. <laughs> Quickly sack Constantinople on the way. Oh, wow. There it is. Constantinople. Constantinopolis. Let's continue down this way. Alright. We can expand this. So what should I go for then? Probably sanitation. It's the safer option. The last thing we want is like a plague here or something. Okay, why can't I recruit any more in here? Hmm. I don't see a re reasoning why. Uh, and we still can't get trade with anyone? No. Whoa. What the hell? That nearly crashed then. Hang on. Alright, I think we're good. May the Lord open. What? <laughs> open our path through the Bosphorus. And into Cairo, I hope so. Venice and Nicaea at war. Nice. That's probably... Yeah. <laughs> They're doing it. <laughs> we actually caught them in full... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually, like, literally caught the Crusaders going and taking Constantinople. That's hilarious. Yeah, they still don't want peace. Come then. 
The people will consider what I hear. On behalf of our people, we offer you honest welcome. Yeah. We're kind of cut off diplomatically, which sucks. Lol, just the Fourth Crusade vibes, pretty much. Had to give it a part two. <laughs> I suppose so. Yeah, well, we're still just chilling up here, uh, waiting if an army from Halich comes north. Do I get another army? He's having a lot of kids, which is nice, I suppose. Uh, three sons, two daughters. They should have some children. We can't... Uh, we actually probably could adopt someone else, to be fair. I might get another army here in Vilnius. And who should we get? Vingolas, 35, warrior. Duma. Dumant... Wait, wait. Duma... Antis? Dumantis? All of these guys are governors, actually. I think we get Vingolas, even though he's 35. Move him into Vilnius, and... Oh, maybe we can't afford. Or is that only because it's winter? We can probably afford one unit, so maybe we'll just go with the Axeman. Nice. I was interested to see if that garrison has been built up again. Okay, thankfully the... Uh, Nile is still very much navigable. Uh, Navig... God, I can't speak properly. Yeah, navigatable. Yeah, navigatable. <laughs> navigatable. <laughs> That's not the right word. Nice. The Republic of Pisa excommunication, excommunic <laughs> excommunicated. Why? This faction has been excommunicated by the Pope for its sins. Oh, God. All right. What? You have displeased His Holiness? Why? Oh, do we have... Right. We had a mission to spread Catholicism? Oh, God. The Mongol invasion has now happened. Oh, is it because it's not high enough? Yeah, fair enough. I think that's a little bit unfair. Sayings were only just recently a Catholic country, but whatever. Okay, so what's this? Wealth and commerce. Tax rate 33%. Wealth and commerce. Yeah, I guess you go with that a bit later. Alright, so now we're trustworthy. Oh, so they... So, hang on. We can start negotiating maybe now with people. Do they want peace then? No. Wait! Wait, what? <laughs> Kiev own Krakow and Poland own Kiev. <laughs> What type of switcheroo is this? My salutations and the good wishes of our people to you and you. As if. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, they're not actually even puppeting them. Welcome, 
worthy guest. Uh, I trust you yeah, we still can't get trade with some of these factions. That's so annoying. In the name of the state, welcome. Welcome. And let us... Yeah. Oh, well. Right, back down to the crusade target. So there's a full stack there in Alexandria. And then there's a, here as well. Oh, if we get attacked in here on the coast. Oh, no, it's going to take them a turn to deploy. This is going to be so interesting if we can pull this off. <laughs> I straight up just don't know. Uh, is... Could we put up the taxes, maybe? Oh, no, because then we're losing growth. Yeah. We're basically at capacity. Who's this? Oh, it's the sun. Why does he look like a Chad? He looks like Brad Pitt. <laughs> Lithuanian Brad Pitt. <laughs> Well, I guess we made it. Now, I don't know if we can sack Cairo, or do we actually have to... We have to take it, I think. I think it would be a bit weird trying to... hold up a... a Lithuanian... Egyptian kingdom, but... <laughs> okay. I might have to write, read specifically what they want me to do. Do I have to occupy or can I sack it? Okay. The Latin Empire destroyed. Poland has trespassed against us. That's unfortunate. Can I give you that? I listen and speak for my people in our Bro, we could betray them so hard. Where are they going, though? Ready for orders. As if they did that. You will find me a willing and Jeez. Be welcome. Yeah, I think it's because we don't have any tradable resources and we're essentially taking it away. Alright. Still technically losing money. Alright, let's go back down here. So, let's have a quick look. Wait, we already are the Grand Duchy of Lithuania? I thought there was a mission here to become that. Uh, anyway, own the region of Cairo or assist another Catholic faction in taking it. We have 15 turns. Alright, here we go. This could get a little bit sketchy. Because we have sent our king down here. So, who's the heir? Why are you the heir? I guess you may have... Not technically survived. Yeah, we could have an issue here. Now with this, we actually can go with male preference primogenitor. Um, so this will be like the adopted line, I guess. So I guess we'll make you the heir. It's not going to matter. Uh, let's make sure you guys have some... ...superior positions. Okay, so if I was to attack Cairo, we can. So, let's disembark. Now. And what's inside here? So, an interesting garrison. Decently strong. Let's attack then. Can we attack within one turn? We can't. That's going to complicate things. How much siege equipment I, can I bring? I can bring a lot of ladders, or I can go with battering rams. Hang on. 
So what's the max we can get? We can get two battering rams and two ladders, or we can get that. What about if we chuck in siege towers? I'm just trying to trying to see what we can get the most bang for our buck here with siege equipment within one turn. I actually nearly think two. Ooh. What are we coming up against? Archers. Oh, actually, no melee. It's uh, four spearmen and then a lot of cavalry. So there's actually not going to be too much fighting on the walls. Mostly in a garrison, maybe. So maybe we are bring maybe better off bringing. Yeah, something like this. Oh, uh, maybe we go. Nah, actually, I think... We'll go with two battering rams. And the ladders. I think that's what I want to go with. And I guess we just try and cross our, cross our fingers and hope that no army comes south. Ugh, I don't know. Because <laughs> if we have to fight multiple armies, the crusade is probably over. We shall see. So hopefully at the top of the next turn, we'll have the Siege of Cairo. And uh, be victorious. Here we go. Can we do it? Can we take Cairo? <laughs> I think the Saracen and Eastern factions are towards the end. I could be wrong. No, here they are. They could have... Oh, nice. Whew. Not going to lie. My heart skip, skipped a beat then. <laughs> Easy Crusade. Well, we haven't won it yet. Let's go with political favors for both of these. Nice. Siege equipment built. We're going to be able to play it then. Perfect. All right. Back up north. Yeah, I don't... I, listen and speak for my... I don't know why we are so, like... For my people's part. Cut off from diplomacy. It's actually kind of cringe. Do I need to be offering money? I just don't have money to spend. That's the only thing. What are you doing? I actually straight up don't know what Poland's doing here. Well, let's expand. To make this look bigger. It's cool. Okay, so I guess... Uh, I'm going to do a save. Because we haven't played a siege yet. And sometimes... Um, Sieges can crash. Okay, we're still not favoured to win this one. Wait, wall strength 93. Have we done like a decent amount of damage? Oh, okay, right. It's chipping down. It's not that crazy. Alright, uh, we outnumber them slightly. Not by much. About 800. So let's uh, fight this one on the battlefield. I wonder if it's because you converted. Uh, rickety rock. Maybe... Okay, I can understand your thinking there. That the Polish AI is hard-coded to be like, hey, you go after Kiev. Once that's taken, go after the Baltic pagans. So maybe that's why they're drifting that way. After, yeah, maybe. Because quite often, I reckon if you were to play Baltic pagan in this playthrough, I think you just get ganged up on. That's why it's a hard slash harder campaign. But if you can convert to Catholicism early, it makes things easier. I actually don't know when historically Lithuania converted. Yeah, everyone is upset with you. 
You have to protect the popes now, yeah. All right. Uh, what does fog do? All right, we'll go with dry. Doesn't matter. Okay. Let's have a look at the battlefield. So we chipped at the wall a little bit here. So there's a point here, a point there, and then here. So is there a quicker route? Do I divide my forces or do we stay together? Because they got they don't have that much swordsmen. Because we can still lose this one. Cavalry is going to be skirmishing and running us around. Although this is an easier, narrow approach to go from here, we need to... There's a lot of arrow towers here. Like, I mean a lot. There's what? Two, four, f five there. How are we going to fight for this, though? Are we better off going over here? We can't actually put the... Because I want to try and get my archers right on the walls to fire down into the settlement. I think we attack from here. And then if we do have to go for this, we'll, it's already kind of chalked anyway. So I think we attack from this side. I think that's the better option. We have a lot of battering rams as well. So I guess we just got it as a precaution. So let's move them up. There's no way these arrow towers are going to get rid of that many. It's just simply not going to happen. Okay. So let's get these to go here. Let's go with here. Let's get these archers that... Well... Yeah, no. So let's just drop that. And let's equip with this. And I suppose we... Try and roughly spread something out like this. Cavalry here. And then we've got two units just ready to rotate somewhere if need be. Alright, let's start the battle. Let's move up here. Let's go. Can we actually put you there somewhere? No. Alright, let's make sure everyone is moving up. Oh, nice. They actually moved that there. Oh, wait. What's over here? Oh. Cringe. Whoops. We can get them over there. There's no biggie. Alright, here we go. The Lithuanian Siege of Cairo. Uh... Not gonna lie, didn't anticipate us doing this in episode one here today. But a lot of arrow fire is now raining out. We're slowly but surely making our way up. Ladders on the left and right against the garrison. I'm supposed they're like, here come these Christians. Where have they come from? The Baltic? Where's the Baltic? <laughs> okay, so we are taking some damage here. We can't see a lot of their forces. What's the Baltic? <laughs> yeah. I don't think they just opened the gate for us. No, they didn't. Well, they have put up some blockades, but it's probably nothing for us to be too concerned about. I don't even know if we're going to be able to hold this. There is a lot of new scripts and stuff, so... I don't know if you're not meant to hold Cairo for a certain amount of time. Do they call for a jihad on you, maybe? I don't know. Okay. 
Okay. And let's get ready to move my archers here. How well are these guys going? They're getting over here. Oh, damn. Oh, as if the archer unit was the one that deployed there. Like, slightly. So, as long as that's equipped. Can you go back down once you're making your way up? Yeah, nice. Because I think moving my archers on this left side is the play. Okay. So, our units are making their way up. Our units are up on the walls as well. Let's give out some attack orders. Now, how much have we lost to arrow fire? Only 40. That's not too bad. That could be significantly worse. Okay, make sure you try and take this tower. Nice. Let's drop that. Try and get you up here. We're going to start... Breaking down the gateway. And now, Lithuanian soldiers and warriors are fighting the Saddersons. <laughs> They're wearing similar sort of hats. Okay. Whoa! As if you just did that. How are they how are they coming out here? That's annoying. Fire out. Might even move in my general after that. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't run down my archers. I might even just go into bloody melee mode just to stop them. Oh, they crushed one of them as well. Cheeky buggers. Nice. Oh, they actually ran down a full unit. That's so cringe. Okay. We're still capping this tower. You go down here. You come down here and help as well. Make sure you're still giving out an effective order here. Swing over there to help. Okay, let's uh, go with an attack there, and then go here, move the general back. Still got a lot of archers that still need to get around here. Okay, we've lost 300, they've lost 300, but I think if we keep this up, we're going to be okay. Got a lot of units here. So now that we've got this arrow tower under our control, do we? Do we need to go down here, do we? Oh, nice. Oh, it's not even... Oh, yeah, it's... it's um, Attila, it breaks arrow towers. It doesn't give us the control, does it? Okay, we need to, like, effectively win up here. So that we can swing in our archers to help... Whoa, hang on. Did that tower crush a unit? Yeah, it did. I think. What? Hmm, okay. Uh, they're actually pushing us here, which is... Not a bad play. Move up then, if they're going to move their shock cavalry there. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it isn't. Just... Yeah, it, it's crushing units. What? Yeah. No way. What? That crushed our units there, didn't it? What? We might lose because of that. Why did that happen? 
Am I tripping? I'm going to have to look back at that. I think th these crumblings have, like, killed our units. Yeah. There's no way we just lost a thousand units to them. What? That's like a bug. Um... Okay. I think we can still win that, but... Does that mean you don't want to move your units on the wall? What is happening? Alright, we need to push for that, though. Yeah! That's so bizarre. I don't think I've... That... Hmm. I don't know what to think about that, then. As if. Okay. What is even there? Just medium spearmen. Well, maybe charge then. They're probably okay to take it. Okay. So we've got our archers up on the walls here now. These Ruthenian archers should be able to make quick work of this cavalry <coughs> cluster of theirs, bless me. Maybe it's only these walls? Like these specific type of walls? I have a feeling that wasn't a thing like back in earlier versions of this mod. Oh dude, we just have absolutely lit them up. Nice. Hmm. 1212 AD. Gamers. Let me know if you've experienced that. Okay, now we're just fighting their general unit. Hopefully we can punch through. Still have plenty of time. Okay. Let's move my cavalry in. We're probably going to need them. Uh, target their general. I think that's probably where we're going to have an issue. Why are they so close? What? Oh my god. How did they get... I wanted them to skirmish. I gave them an order to skirmish. Why'd they go so close in? Like, they, they went in so hard, it was like... I gave them a melee attack order. Okay, so now we've initiated the countdown. Let's try and get the remaining units in. Keep the king outside. Uh, our archers are getting some nice target practice there, though. Nice. Yeah, Pyrrhic victory. So, hang on. Oh, we can't see how many they killed. Yeah. 
I can't believe that. I'm going to have to look at the VOD back on this. But yeah, that must um it must have crushed our units. That's so bizarre. Oh, we didn't lose the entirety of any of them though. Christ. Okay, so yeah, I guess we occupy even though I'd like to loot and occupy, but it might bug cuz it might not technically count. I think that was a thing in previous versions, so let's occupy. At your command. Increase slots, Jesus. I guess we break a lot of this down, because we can't even use a lot of it. Ready for orders. Okay, so we are going to be able to get replenishment there. Well, we've successfully taken Cairo. <laughs> And I guess Ringudis is going to be known as the Crusader, which is going to be cool. Dude, luckily we did that. I felt like we could have thrown that, and that wasn't even our fault. Okay, uh... Yeah, let's get some more units where we can. Let's end the turn and continue. Hopefully we get some really good relations. From the Pope. They could very well attack us, to be fair. This turn. After all that. I guess we bunker down in Cairo. There's no need to offensively push out just yet. Uh oh. Oh. It sat there for a sec. I was wondering if they were going to react swiftly. Alrighty. Wait, so Poland is raiding in Vilnius? Why? Are they trying to bait out a fight? Uh, Trebizond is now at war with the Ayubids. Imperial se Secession, the Holy Roman Empire. A new Holy Roman Emperor has been... or well, has taken the throne. Following the death of his previous sovereign. Okay, so they're having... Issues. Oh, okay, we made 8,000 because we demolished all that stuff. Uh, so you've gained reconnaissance. Nice. So the Crusaders ended. So we've got an option. With the capture of the Crusaders target from the infidels. Oh, okay. So we actually got a decision to make. The Crusaders have clearly triumphed. However, the Pope now demands that all titles seized during the Crusade be transferred to the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Oh shit, we've got a dilemma here. Or, alternatively, that you push on Jerusalem and take the city for the Kingdom of Jerusalem. So, you abdicate all your newly gained titles and we get 20,000. We can refuse. Your reputation with the Pope drastically wor worsens. Or we can push to Jerusalem, which is what? The war for the Holy Land continues. Is uh, Jerusalem... Wait, hang on. Abdicate. Hmm. Has Jerusalem fallen? You decide to push on to Jerusalem as the Pope promises you'll be able to keep your city if you able to take this city. So I guess you have an option to keep on pushing. Hmm. 
I don't think if we continue to push, we're going to be able to take Jerusalem. I guess you get more. You abdicate all of your newly gained titles. So essentially it's, um, we give them Cairo for 20k. That's a lot. And then we can go back. A new mission will be issued. Hmm. Do you take... I guess you'd get more. Yes, yeah, so I guess Jerusalem is not under our control. I guess we comply, because I don't think we've got a strong enough army to push. So let's comply. And that gives them Cairo. Victorious Crusader. So we get a lot of money. And we can allow this army to go home. Then we're not at peace. And then maybe we can focus on Halich, maybe. Alright. Let's head home then. And did he get any traits? Whoops. No. Well, successful crusade. Jeez, it's going to take so long to get back. We might even take Bilgorod. Oh, maybe not. Tengrenism. Tengri. Uh, yeah, we might need to declare war upon Poland because they are just like sitting here raiding. Which is mega cringe. Alright, I'm going to chuck a save. And we've nearly been going for two hours here. So it's probably time to wrap things up. Got a decision to make with Poland. I could have... I wish I was able to save during that end turn. So I could have got you guys feedback before the next stream slash video. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're enjoying this campaign. Uh, so far, we're slowly but surely building up the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. Hopefully it can get a large chunk of this. I would like to extend the kingdom slash duchy, or future kingdom, current duchy, to the Baltic and the Black Sea. And we'll see how we go. So, one settlement taken here. One being Cairo and a successful crusade. So yeah, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Come follow me and sub on Twitch as well. If you want to see these episodes early, check out the Twitch channel. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next stream. And after this, I'm going to be streaming uh, live on YouTube as well. Some more Rome 2 DEI, so go and check that out. All right, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Goodbye.